Good morning and welcome back. There have been several incidents of road rage in the news lately from a shooting in Florida to even a couple of recent tragedies right here in the Puget Sound area. So this morning we're talking with mental health expert Dr. Greg Jantz about why this is happening and why it feels like we're seeing an increase in incidents of road rage and overall stress in traffic. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's an important topic. Yes. Very important. And I think I want to back up from the road rage for just a moment and yeah. ask about the traffic stress. It feels like everywhere you go, people are increasingly stressed with their commutes. Why is this happening? Oh, there are. And we have more of an issue. And we have people who have more pressure. And you're, a lot of chronic stress. You get in your car and it continues and there's no way out. That's the thing about traffic. Yes. There's no way out. You're trapped. So that's going to trigger certain emotions. And that's my question. How do you know? Not okay. That, so I don't want to out myself too much as being an angry driver, but there are times when you're yes. within the confines of your car. Yes. You might yell to yourself. You might get upset. When does it cross the line into becoming road rage in your professional opinion? Okay. Road rage is when it crosses the line where I begin to attempt to engage another driver, either through gestures, <laughs> through words, or my behavior behind a wheel. See, I actually depersonalize the other driver and I make judgments about them. They're a jerk and I'm saying things in my mind. Then I take the step and I, I put that out loud or I do something with my car because I can feel really powerful in my car. Yes, and that's the problem. And you feel like yes. what you just said, you just hit the nail on the head. We depersonalize each other yes. in traffic and they're all our enemies and they're preventing us from getting where we want to go fast. That's right. Say I'm behind you. <laughs> <laughs> hey yeah. now. No, I don't I don't really know it's you. <laughs> but you're you're misbehaving on the road. What's right. wrong with you? Right. right? Right. And so I get irritable. Now if I also have a tendency to have anger outbursts outside of my car, I can be more prone to acting out with my car. And that's dangerous because that's a very heavy, very violent vehicle if the wrong hands are behind it. Yes, and this is one of the factors to look at. Some people who feel powerless in other areas of their life, they get in their car, it's like they've put on a new ego or a personality and they're acting out being powerful in their car through speed, through reckless behavior, through pushing other people around. Let's it's an altered personality. It is. And I want to address people who feel that way first. Okay. Whether, whether you found yourself in situations where you yeah. have escalated it to a road rage or you feel that maybe okay. over the course of the next few weeks with the way traffic is, right. you could get there. What can we be doing to prevent that? Okay. First of all, we need to know about ourselves, our tendencies. So just be aware. Okay. And you actually need to go in your car and be proactive mm. and uh, do the flip side really work on being as kind as generous as a dri generous driver oh. yeah giving other people a grace try practicing just the opposite of what you're feeling now I understand this can be a challenge and you're going why should I do that I'm irritable <laughs> okay but watch what happens you, the friendly driver mm -hmm. the person that lets you lets you in yeah wave thank you and, and there's something that begins to change for us emotionally so go into your car with a whole new mindset. I'm going to be a generous driver. Kindness. And watch what happens. Interesting. Now the scary part is if you are not a ragey driver, okay. but you encounter Let's a ragey driver. Let's say you're a victim driver. of it. Yes. What do you do? Okay. One of the things, if you've got somebody else in the car and somebody really is raging, they're pushing up against you, they're getting mm -hmm. close to you, and it's starting to be dangerous and you're getting anxious and you're wondering, what do I do here? If you have somebody else in the car, have them videotape it. Really? Watch what happens. Interesting. Yeah. The minute you hold up a, f a phone and you're videotaping, watch how it changes. Wow. What if you're by yourself? Well, if you're by yourself, don't do anything that's sure. reckless. But one of the things is um, making eye contact can actually accelerate the behavior. So wow. uh, just, you know, in some way you've got to ignore it. Stay on your route, but don't give it any power. Don't Remember, engage. this is about them, not you. What if they get out of their car? You're at a stoplight. They get out of their car to come and approach Well, I'm going to do whatever I need to do to protect myself. But remember, one of the first things you're going to do, if this is going on, I'm going to call 911. Mm -hmm. Do that immediately. Mm -hmm. So get help, okay, particularly if you're alone. Now, the other thing is, if somebody's getting out of their car, you're going you're to be moving along quickly. Yes. Don't engage. <laughs> yeah. Don't get but out of your call car. call for help. And these can have long-term effects, I would imagine, over time, if you're allowing yourself to continually yes. feel this stress in your daily commute. Absolutely. Now, there are certain personalities that are more prone towards this. 
<laughs> so, and that's a whole other story. <laughs> I, we will have to have you back yeah. for that. Dr. Jans, thank you so much. Good to be with you. Really appreciate it. Yes. And I hope everybody who's watching this can be a little bit more polite to each other, calm and kind, and maybe we can reduce some of these very dangerous road rage incidents. Yeah. All right, we'll have more coming up after the break. You're watching Q13 Fox News this morning.